decide things for others. For others, we claim our own purview. We claim our own purview. We don't decide for you. We don't decide for you, but with you, but with you. And we claimed in agreement to what can be claimed. And because we do this with you, and because we do this with you, we may maintain authority. We may maintain an authority that is present, that is present through the claim. Through the claim, you have come. You have come because we have chosen this, because we have chosen this, and are directing you, and are directing you as. You you wish to be taught, as you wish to be taught what may now be known, to what may now be known. You may claim the words, you may claim the words, in agreement to who you've always been, in agreement to who you have always been. Always been is important to understand. Always been is important to understand. If you think for a moment, if you think for a moment we are telling you that you're something other, that you are telling you that you are something other than you have always been, then you have always been. You would be misunderstanding. You would be misunderstanding the entirety of the teaching, the entirety of the teaching, the divine as you, the divine as you, is as you, is as you, whether it's awakened or not, whether it is awakened or not, whether it's awakened or not, whether it is in realization or not, it can only be you, it can only be you and is always you, and is always you to become the articulation to become the articulation of the word, of the word, the divine self and embodiment. The divine self and embodiment is not only a process, is not only a process, but it is a relinquishing, but it is a relinquishing of the shell, of the shell that has encased the seed, that has encased the seed and the shell itself. And the shell itself may be seen, if you wish, may be seen, if you wish, as the small self, as the small self, or the identity structure, or the identity structure, that withhold that would withhold the manifestation, the manifestation or complete expression, or complete, complete expression of one's divinity, of one's divinity, the reclamation of the divine self, the reclamation of the divine self. I am here. 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 Which was announced we gave you, which was an announcement we gave you, springs into fruition, springs into fruition. The escalation of the field, the escalation of the. Field. Of me that know that may then know the manifest Christ, the manifest Christ as embodied, as embodied, as embodied means, as embodied means at the level of agreement, at the level of agreement that an individual soul, that an individual soul may express at, may express at the dormancy of the divine spark, the dormancy of the divine spark throughout time, throughout time, the inhibition, the inhibition of its expression. Of of its expression has been made, has been made in a renunciation, in a renunciation of its purview, of its purview. Did you hear those words? Did you hear those words, the divine spark, the divine spark, or the indwelling Christ, or the indwelling Christ, or whatever you wish to call it, or whatever you wish to call it, has been renounced, has been renounced by culture, by culture, by civilization, by civilization, because it is contrary, because it is contrary to the aspiration, to the aspiration of the small self, of the small self, to be the mandator, to be the mandator of a experience of experience now that the small self now that the small self is beginning to realize is beginning to realize the futility the futility of its endeavor of its endeavor to claim a manifest world to claim a manifest world in truthful ways in truthful ways she is beginning to understand she is beginning to understand that the ship that she has been steering that the ship that she has been steering is about to hit the iceberg is about to hit the iceberg and because she does not know, and because she does not know as a small self, as a small self, how to best change course, how to best change course, she relinquishes the wheel, she relinquishes the wheel to the true self, to the true self who is as there, who is as there, as her, as her, as she has never known, as she has never known, now to realize the true self. 
now to realize the true self is to become complicit is to become complicit in a new exchange in a new exchange a new idea a new idea a new rendering a new rendering that defies the old structure that defies the old structure because the old structure because the old structure cannot manifest itself cannot manifest itself as it would as it would with this new expression with this new expression catalyzing everything it encounters catalyzing everything that it encounters the catalyzation the catalyzation of everything that encounters of everything that it encounters is made known to you is made known to you in the claim in the claim i have come I have come, as that is known, as that is known or realized, or realized the resounding self, the resounding self, the song that truly sings, the song that truly sings, the embodiment of the divine, the embodiment of the divine makes itself known, makes itself known in an encounter, in an encounter with the manifest world, with the manifest world for one purpose only, for one purpose only, reclamation, reclamation and realization, and realization and rearticulation, and rearticulation of what you would call matter, of what you would call matter, but we will call but we will call the small self's world the small self's world, the painting that you've painted, the painting that you have painted in an agreement, in an agreement to what should be there, to what should be there, the pigment of the paint. The pigment of the paint is of God, is of God, the energy that you would call, the energy that you would call the paintbrush. The paintbrush is of God, is of God, so the rendered articulation, so the rendered articulation, of the landscape you embody in, of the landscape you embody in, is still God, is still God, because God must be in the rendering, because God must be in the rendering of what is seen, of what is seen, what you do instead, what you do instead of realizing, of realizing God as the paint, as the paint and the paintbrush. And the paintbrush is assumed that the landscape you are seeing is assumed that the landscape you are seeing is what it has been, is what it has been, as the descriptors of old, as the descriptors of old would tell you, would tell you, and in doing so, and in doing so, you forget that the divine, you forget that the divine, the paint and the paintbrush, the paint and the paintbrush can be realized by the old can be realized as what they have always been. In other words, friends, in other words, friends, you see a painting, you see a painting, you don't think of the paint, you don't think of the paint, you think of the rendering, you think of the rendering, you don't think of the painter, you don't think of the painter and the paintbrush, you see what it has left behind, you see what it has left behind, to lift to the higher octave, to lift to the higher octave is to reperceive the painting, is to reperceive the painting, the rearticulation of it, the rearticulation of it, the still way oil paint, the still wet oil paint that can paint itself anew, that can paint itself anew once the painting is understood, once the painting is understood to be of source, to be of source, and because it is of source, and because it is of source, everything that makes it up, everything that makes it up has always been of source, has always been of source, and once that is understood, and once that is understood, in some ways what happens, in some ways what happens is the manifest reality, is that the manifest reality, the physical form the thing has taken, the physical form the thing has taken becomes malleable, becomes malleable in a new way, in a new way for the painting to be recreated, for the painting to be recreated in a high higher octave in a higher octave. This is not done through fixing the painting. This is not done through fixing the painting, making the painting a prettier picture, making the painting a prettier picture. It is done through the realization. It is done through the realization of what the painting is, of what the painting is, the oil paint, the oil paint, the brush of the stroke of the hand, the brush of the stroke of the hand, all of those things, all of those things once understood, once understood are seen, 
are seen in expression in expression. The paint is made new. The paint is made new through the realization of paint. Through the realization of paint, the brush stroke is renowned. The brush stroke is renowned through the remembrance of it. Through the remembrance of it, again, God is the brush stroke. Again, God is the brush stroke, and the paint itself, and the paint itself, and the painting itself, and the painting itself may then be renowned. May then be renowned in a higher way. In a higher way. Because because you are seeing the elasticity, because you are seeing the elasticity of the divine, of the divine that can know itself in form, that can know itself in form in manifold ways, in manifold ways, infinite ways, infinite ways. Everything is the painting. Everything is the painting that can be reperceived, that can be reperceived, and then consequently, and then consequently rendered new rendered new. Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new. Now, as the divine self, now as the divine self, the one who witnesses the painting, the one who witnesses the painting, you're also the painter. You are also the painter in agreement, in agreement to the divine source, to the divine source. If you understand what this means, if you understand what this means, it means that your very presence, it means that your very presence as witness, as witness, as the one who knows who she is, as the one who knows who she is and can know, and can know without effort, without effort, what everything else is, what everything else is, the embodiment of the divine, the embodiment of the divine, which you are as, which you are as, claims the embodiment of the divine, claims the embodiment of the divine, anything she sees, in anything she sees, because nothing can be outside of that, because nothing can be outside of that. Again, what you are doing, again, what you are doing is you are seeing the paint, is you are seeing the paint that made the painting, that made the painting, you are comprehending the brush stroke, you are comprehending the brush stroke, that what you have seen, that what you have seen is a rendering, is a rendering, or an articulation of or an articulation of form to know form to know form to realize form to realize form is to comprehend is to comprehend the manifestation the manifestation as of god as of god as of god and as of god it may new form it may new form new form it may take a new form it may take a new form a new articulation a new articulation once it is perceived once it is perceived or reclaimed or reclaimed in a high octave, in a high octave, so dominion, so dominion becomes not what you have had, so dominion becomes not what you have had, but what has truly been there. But what has truly been there that has been misperceived, that has been misperceived, again he carks back, again he carks back to the shell casing, to the shell casing, revealing the true flower, revealing the true flower, the true plant, the true plant, the true entity, the true entity, the source energy, the source energy that has been there, that has been there and obscured or inhibited, and obscured or inhibited, what in fact we are saying, Paul, in fact, what we are saying, Paul, is that the perception is that the perception of the divine is what reclaims anything, is what reclaims anything, and what has obstructed it, and what has obstructed its demonstration, demonstration or revelation, or revelation or new articulation or new articulation is actually countered, is actually countered by the manifest self, by the manifest self who cannot agree to what is not true, who cannot agree to what is not true. What does that mean? He says, what does that mean? He says, well, the idea of the painting, well, the idea of the painting is all well and good, is all well and good, but it is still paint upon a canvas, but it is still paint upon a canvas and brush strokes and brush strokes laid out in certain patterns, laid out in certain patterns. The rendering, the rendering of the seascape, of the ski seascape is comprehended by you, is comprehended by you. That looks like a wave, that looks like a wave, that looks like a 
shoreline. That looks like a shoreline. Perhaps that is a boat in the distance. Perhaps that is a boat in the distance. You comprehend the intent. You comprehend the intent of the rendering, of the rendering, and agree to what things are, and agree to what things are. But it is paint. But it is paint. It is malleable. It is malleable. You realize it's paint. And when you realize it is paint, the colors themselves, the colors themselves, the pigment that is the paint, the pigment that is the paint, the brush that you hold, the brush that you hold may re-render what you see, may re-render what you see, and the seascape may be seen, and the seascape may be seen as what it truly is, as what it truly is, an expression of God, and expression of God, and nothing else, and nothing else, the ideas that you attach to things. The idea is that you attach to things that looks like a ship, that looks like a ship, that looks like a house, that looks like a house, actually claim articulation, actually claim articulation, a form of form, and consequently you exist in a landscape, and consequently you exist in a landscape, a painting that you have all made, a painting that you have all made in descriptive ways, in descriptive ways, you know things by what they have been called, you know things by what they have been called and how you've been taught to experience them, and how you have been taught to experience them. This is not a bad thing. This is not a bad thing. It is the nature of any shared construct. It is the nature of any shared construct that is operating in deceit, that is operating in deceit from what it truly is, from what it truly is. Again, the shell casing. Again, the shell casing obscures what is within the seed, obscures what is within the seed. Obscures what is within the seed. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? And the obstruction, and the obstruction of witness, of witness, what you cannot see, what you cannot see, because the small self cannot see beyond its creations, because the small self cannot see beyond its creations, can only be witnessed, can only be witnessed by the one who is aligned, by the one who has aligned to the divine truth, to the divine truth. The paint is God, the paint is God, the brush stroke is God, the brush brush stroke as God that is the painting, that is the painting that you have been experiencing, that you have been experiencing once you do this, once you do this, in the claim I have come, in the claim I have come, the painting is made new, the painting is made new, it is re-rendered, it is re-rendered, re-articulating, re-articulated in the upper room, in the upper room, which is where this can be claimed, which is where this can be claimed. If you're imagining yourself, if you were imagining yourself walking to the market, walking to the market, barking, I have come, barking, I have come, to before you, to everybody before you, expecting to see a miracle, expecting to see a miracle, you may find one, you may find one, you may clear the path, you may clear the path, nobody wants to be near you, nobody <laughs> wants to be near you, that's a strange miracle, that's a strange miracle, and you have made it so, and you have made it so, but the realization but the realization of the claim, of the claim, the true self as you, the true self as you who expresses in the upper room, who expresses in the upper room in his announcement, in his announcement, I have come, 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 claims what he sees, claims what he sees, recalls the paint, recalls the paint, that is what you see, that is what you see, and the rearticulation of the painting, and the rearticulation of the painting, which means the lifting to the high octave, which means the lifting to the high octave of expression, of expression, may then occur, may then occur, because it's in accord, because it is in accord, A-C-C-O-R-D, A-C-C-O-R-D, A-C-H-O-R-D, A-C-H-O-R-D, as on a piano, as on a piano, the song you are singing, the song you are singing, I have come, 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 is what renders the world anew is what renders the world anew. Now, for those of you who still think, now, for those of you who still think that it is you who does this, that it is you who does this, remember what you know, remember what you know to be reality, to be reality is the outpictured agreement, is the outpictured agreement, the painted seascape, the painted seascape, that may be the shoreline, that may be the boat, that may be the shoreline, that may be the boat, because the small self can only know that, because the small 
itself can only know that it is in the lifting. It is in the lifting towards realization, towards yes, realization of the encounter, that the encounter with the new, with the new, may begin to be understood, may begin to be understood. He then asks. He then asks what we were expecting. He would ask what we were expecting. He would ask, but what does it look like? But what does it look like? You are saying it is not the painting we have seen. You are saying it is not the painting we have seen. But then what is it? But then what is is the divine? It is the divine in its expression, in its expression, the brilliance of it, and the brilliance of it will astound you, will astound you. It is seeing God. It is seeing God as the shoreline, as the shoreline, as the dead body, as the dead body that has washed up, that has washed up upon the shore, upon the shore, and the birds that fly above it, and the birds that fly above it, as the bathers in sea. It is the bathers in the sea, and the ship that has lost its way, and the ship that has lost its way somewhere on the horizon, somewhere on the horizon, all is known as God, all is known as God in its brilliance, in its brilliance, in its majesty, in its majesty, in the small self's idealizations and the small self's idealizations of what things mean, of what things mean. Oh, look at that sad man who washed up on the shore. Oh, look at that sad man who washed up on the shore. Those bathers are going to get a sunburn. Those bathers are going to get a sunburn, and that ship needs a new compass, and that ship needs a new compass. Those renderings, those renderings or ways of knowing as a small self, or ways of knowing as a small self are released are released into the instant, into the instant of experience, of experience that you can only yourself in, that you can only know yourself in. Do you understand that? Do you understand that to experience that shoreline? To experience that shoreline in the instant you stand in, in the instant you stand in without the agreements, without the agreements of what things must mean, of what things must mean, should look like or be, should look like or be, claims all as God, claims all as God, not what to be, and not what you have been taught things to mean, things to mean. Yes, Paul, that is the teaching beyond the known. Yes, Yes, Paul, that is the teaching of beyond the known. Things can only be re-articulated. Things can only be re-articulated, re-articulated in the high octave. In the high octave, when you do not decide what they should be, when you do not decide what they should be or should have been or should have been or must resemble or must resemble the doctrine of teaching. The doctrine of teaching law, law, this is the law, this is the law, this will always be so, this will always be so, must be recomprehended, must be recomprehended to understand, to understand that even those things that were chosen, that even those things that were chosen in absolute ways, in absolute ways will be countered, will be countered by a higher realization, by a higher realization of what is true, of what is true. We will stop this teaching for now. We will stop this teaching for now. Thank you for your presence.